The team was looking for the worthy one in Miami, United States, when God guided them to a missions organization named Echo Cuba. A secretary who heard the gospel thanks to this meeting broke down in tears and introduced the team to her church. This team served the church during two years, sharing with them the gospel of the Bible and the evangelism of the Bible. Through this, not only were the church members edified, but God opened the doors to Mexico and Guatemala. At the time, the following words were shared with the disciples found there. A great wind of evangelism will blow in all of Latin America within the next 10 years. God filled Latin America with the gospel in less than 10 years. How can we do world evangelization during our lifetime? This was a prayer with which we started. There were many who agreed to the notion of saving their country with this gospel, and some were even moved by it. Influential people were also interested. However, we desired to meet with people who received the gospel as life, as revelation, worthy ones. It is not important to have a large gathering. There are cases in which 500 people gather and no worthy ones are found. There are cases in which precious, important people rise up in small meetings. Through church visits, one-to-one -one meetings, broadcasts, etc., we looked for those who would confess that the true gospel is that Jesus is the Christ and that only this can save the world. Their heart starts to burn and they share the message to everyone they know. Through these people, many countries were rapidly opened. The doors to El Salvador and Nicaragua were opened through Guatemala. Colombia was opened through El Salvador. Through Colombia, Venezuela was opened. Other pastors in Miami opened the way to Brazil, Argentina, and Chile. The doors to Bolivia were opened through Argentina. Our objective is not simply to evangelize avidly, but to evangelize the whole world. First, we help leaders so that they may open their eyes to the fact that they are disciples by looking for these disciples with them. We help them to look for worthy ones just like them in their own regions. Every year, we visited their countries during the Tyrannus conferences and found disciples with them. Where disciples were already found, we would visit several regions of their country simultaneously during national evangelism movements. These are intended to find and raise up disciples in all regions and to go in depth within the gospel together with all these disciples. In the case of Cuba, many difficulties arose such as persecution from the government and disciples who fell into apostasy. Nevertheless. The Cuban team entered all provinces of their country and managed to visit all 168 municipalities of their nation. El Salvador also entered all the regions in their country. In February 2019, Latin American disciples entered the nine Caribbean nations they prayed for during three years. Though most of these teams did not know anyone in these islands, God used them to find worthy ones within two weeks. In one of the nations, they were nicknamed those people who preach that Jesus is a Christ. During the five years that this work has been done in Latin America, God has raised up pastors who will save their nations as well as firm disciples who will aid them. All of Latin America is coming together and uniting for the gospel. The flames of the gospel that arose in Latin America started spreading, and the speed of the work started to increase. The first countries to be visited in Africa were Kenya and Uganda in December 2017. Just a month after this visit, the doors to Tanzania and Nigeria were opened on January 2018. 
through pastors who received the revelation of the gospel at this time, the gospel began to be relayed to neighboring countries. By November 2018, not a year had gone by, but disciples from more than 30 African countries had received the gospel. Representatives from these nations gathered in Ethiopia in order to hold the Tyrannus Conference, where important meetings were held so that this team may go to different regions and save all of the African continent. Pastors who minister in England, Sweden, and Norway also participated in this African Tyrannus Conference and received a deep message from God. We had been praying for Europe ever since a visit to Spain and Italy in September 2017. This opportunity became a starting point for diverse, worthy ones in Europe to gather. In 2019, the team visited five European countries and met disciples who want to work together to prepare Europe for the Lord's coming with the gospel of the Bible. On May 2016, a pastor from Pakistan heard the gospel during a visit to Chile and invited us to Pakistan. The doors to the continent of Asia were opened in an unexpected place. We visited Pakistan for the first time in September 2016. God quickly raised the people who would receive the gospel, even in this Muslim-dominated land. In 2018, the Pakistani team that began preaching that Jesus is the Christ evangelized so actively in several regions that it was chosen as the foremost evangelism group among Christians, with Pakistan as a focal point. Doors to the Arab Emirates, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Kuwait, Oman, and other Asian countries started to open. One pastor in Sri Lanka who received the gospel started looking for people who would receive the gospel by visiting places on his motorcycle. He invited them and prepared a conference. Disciples from the Philippines, India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and eight other Asian regions who had received the gospel shared the message at this conference. After this, conferences were held in the Philippines, Bangladesh, and other countries in order to find and raise up disciples. Starting from 2019, other Asian countries are starting to open through foreign seminary students in Korea. In October 2019, some of these students, confessing that their countries need the true gospel, went to Nepal and India and preached the gospel there. Even in regions such as North America and Oceania. Certain disciples have risen to share the gospel in their own field. The work of God to fill every continent and country with this gospel, and furthermore, relay the gospel to every tribe, must certainly occur. God raised up disciples in nearly 100 nations in less than eight years. These disciples have transcended their cultural background in order to proclaim one message: Jesus is the Christ. Through the gospel, our mistaken thoughts are brought down, our hearts are ablaze. When we witness worthy ones being found, we can only confess that God has done it. Even now, God is fulfilling world evangelization. In this great current of world evangelization, we are led to trust. And praise God, Jesus is a Christ. Maranatha.